Hopefully you caught some fish on the Clouser Minnow since the last time you've tuned in. Um, so as I mentioned in the last episode, I'm heading to go red fishing this week. So one of the best redfish flies that I've found is called the Quan. Um, the Quan is a super productive fly because it imitates shrimp, crabs, uh, and if you throw it into a bunch of bait fish and move it, it has a ton of movement. So redfish love it, trout love it, flounder love it. Um, so tune in and check it out. Alrighty, so we are gonna tie this, or I'm gonna tie mine, on a size four saltwater hook. You can use really any saltwater hook. Um, I'm using just the Orvis saltwater uh, fly hooks. I like Timco, I like a lot of different hooks for this, but that's just what I have here in the desk. Um, so make a couple wraps to nice thread base. Snip off the excess. So you can tie this fly weighted or unweighted. Um, I am gonna use some bead chain eyes. So if you do tie your redfish flies or any of these flies that you are targeting spooky fish, if you put too big of dumbbell eyes on there, it'll make a splash and it could spook a fish. So um, one thing to do, which we can do here, is if you want to add a lot of weight to a fly, just take some lead wire. Cut off, I don't know, two inches of lead wire. Tie a little bit of it in towards the bend of your hook. Come forward with some wraps and then just wrap it on up. All right, so now secure that in place. I'm gonna take my dumbbell eyes. I'm using that again, using bead chain. You can wrap this pretty close to the eye of the hook, okay? Same thing as last episode. I'll zoom this in for you. Yep. Go around each side, make a figure eight, and then a couple circle wraps under need to sense that in. Since we are going to be fishing for redfish, I like to just throw a little bit of head cement or UV epoxy in there just to get this head from spinning. Yeah, and I'm just going to clean that up a second with my Bobkin. You don't have to do this, but I like to. All right, so now take some wraps back. I'm gonna use craft fur or polar fiber. Um, really craft fur or polar fiber will work. I'm using polar fiber. So grab a good chunk of this stuff because it is flowy and it does soak up water. So grab a good, good bit. Just like with the 
bucktail, you're gonna have to get out the guard fibers. So grab the long piece, get out that crappy stuff. Yep, good. All right. So there, a little about the size of a pencil. You're gonna come in about two hook links. See? And just tie that right in. Don't worry about this excess stuff. If you want to cut it out, cut it out. If you want to tie it into the body, that's fine too. We're going to wrap over top of this. All right. Cool. I'm just going to clean that up. All right, so that's like the tail of the shrimp. I'm gonna grab some silly legs. You're gonna to wanna to put four on each side. If you wanna put more, that's fine. I just find that four is an easy way to cut. So you're gonna take two of them, cut two full size silly legs from the pack. Cut two full size. Boom. And then I'm just gonna lay in the miles a half. So the half to you or away from you, find the halfway part of your silly legs, tie that in on that side, and then just flip it to the other side. You're gonna make a little diamond or a triangle. Just tie that in. So now you got a couple little legs. All right, so now we're gonna grab some flash. I'm just gonna use some gold sparkle hair. Really, you can use flash abu. You could use crystal flash, anything. Um, I like gold sparkle hair. It's similar to what you tie into a Crelex. It's super simple to use. Um, it has tons of movement. I find that sometimes Crystal Flash doesn't have enough movement. Um, so it's just personal preference. All right, so you can grab about six strands or so total. So four to six strands, cut in half, lay it on the top. Tie it in about the length of your craft fur or polar fiber and give that a good tie in, all right? Trim off the excess. So this is what makes it different from a traditional quan. So a traditional quan, you wrap and you do like five to seven different horizontal lays with like EP fiber, SF fiber. Um, the Quan is a great pattern, not knocking it at all. Uh, I just feel like it, it's a little bit tedious to tie for someone new. So instead you just use some rabbit. So grab your rabbit, cut off about a two to three inch section. So see how rabbit, there's a way that it wants to flow. You want it to flow backwards. Okay, so you're gonna tie it in where the hairs are pointing backwards. So, tie in a little bit of rabbit, wrap forward up to your dumbbell eyes, and then you just wrap the rabbit on there. All right, so now the rabbit is tied in. All right, so you could just fish it as that. Or you can come back in and trim this hair up if you want. I'm just gonna leave it like that. Um, make sure your rabbit's tied in nice.
flip your fly over. Now we're going to build a slight weed guard. I like to use the Scientific Angler Hard Mono. Same thing that you tie a leader with, or I tie leaders with. So you can cut off about a two inch section. All right, so I have my two inch section cut off. And you're just gonna fold that in half. Make a V. So I have my two in section, fold in half, make a V, come to the top of the eyes, you go underneath the, the eye of the hook, do a couple wraps, so it should stay in flat now, and you come behind it, alright? And then you come in front. And you go behind the weed guard, and you're done. So you whip finish this. All right, and put some epoxy on top. Make sure everything holds together nice and nice and good. Yeah, you can spread that around with your bobkin if you want. Be careful not to cover the eye of the hook. All right. Clean it up. And hit it with your light. All right, and then one final thing that I like to do, and a lot of other people like to do, is make some bar marks. You can use brown, purple, whatever color you want to use, and make like four marks as you move back. Spacing them out about half an inch. And that's it. It's not, a super tedious fly, and but it does stand out, catches fish. Um, good luck out there, and stay safe, stay smooth.